which I have. But ladies and gentlemen, the best lieutenant governor in Jersey has ever had.
period of time. That helps you directly keep money in your pocket. We set up the Red Tape Commission, I almost forgot about that, which is how most of you have my cell phone number. And for those of you who are thinking, I don't have my your cell phone number, Frank will give it to you as long as you make a donation to the IA. <laughs> so for what, 100 bucks now? We're up to 100? No. I will give you my cell phone number by the end of the speech because I feel that you literally need to walk out of a speech like this with something in your back pocket. And I answer my own cell phone number because I believe, like you believe, that customer service is the way we are going to give our customers, that will be you in my case, the confidence to stay in New Jersey and grow in New Jersey and do your business in New Jersey. And I'm in charge of red tape. You all, some of you have heard this joke like a thousand times, it's getting old. But if you're going to put somebody in charge of uh, red tape, do not give them an email address of lieutenant.governor at nj.gov.us. Spell lieutenant. Really? I went to law school, I can't spell lieutenant. So I gave that number, that email address out a couple of times and I said, oh the heck with it, I'm just going to give you my cell phone number and I give it out so that you can call me and yell at me. And I would much rather hear from you than some of the people I've been hearing from lately. <clears throat> so whoever put my cell phone number up on the gas tax petition should be shot. Call the governor if you have a complaint about the gas tax. His number is 609-292-6000. I'm not kidding. My job is you. My job is you to get you what you need, if I can. And to tell you, here's a concept, if I can't. Because then you can work around it. And you know, it's beginning to work. We are beginning to see successes. Some people in this room are the product of that success. And you know, I don't want to tell you, it's not just pharmaceuticals. It's fragrances, it's oil, it's jewelry, it's breweries. I love that part of it. I want to do a brewery tour. Wineries, food, pharmacy. Do you know we're number five? in this country for food processing, which is another way of saying manufacturing. Out of those 10,000 or so manufacturing jobs, 2,000 of them are food manufacturers. So we are now a foodie state. Who knew? Who would have expected it? And it's been a really fun tour to do the manufacturing in the food processing area. But we have a lot of other, we have a lot of, we have more to do, a more to do. I've had a lot of fun going to companies that have come back to New Jersey. So Patella, and I know, I didn't see Patella on the list. Patella Woodworking, a company that in 2011, which would be on my watch, went from New, York, uh, New Jersey to New York, came back in 2016 to New Jersey because they couldn't afford to do business in New York. What a great story that is. And it's 70 new jobs. It's in Jersey City. The coolest part of that is it's woodworking. You're doing things with your hands. And you know what this company represents. You know this already. It's not just the 70 jobs, but the company has committed to hiring prisoners who are leaving the system and need a job. That's the kind of company we need in New Jersey. It's a company that hired 70 New Jersey people who are on the unemployment rolls. That's the kind of company we need in New Jersey. That's the reason why I do this every day. Because those are fabulous stories. I stole 250 jobs from Brooklyn just a couple of months ago. Jewelry makers. 250 new jobs in New Jersey. Those are great New Jersey stories. And we need to do more. We need to do better. We'll do it with events like today. We'll do it by continuing to advocate for lower taxes for all of you, for a freer economic environment for all of you, because if you stay in New Jersey and grow in New Jersey, then you know the whole community is better. Our whole life is better. Imagine what would happen to those two people that Patella hired out of prison if Patella hadn't decided that New York was too expensive. Now, we need real new jobs. I don't mind stealing from New York.
God knows they've been stealing from us long enough. It's only fair that I go over and try to attract, believe it or not, high-tech manufacturing jobs back to the state. But we really need to create new jobs. We need those people, those entrepreneurs, that, the guys that go to NJIT and Rutgers, these young kids that are here today. We need to give them the freedom to experiment and teach them how to do it. And we are. Last year in New Jersey, I know you all think this place is like the worst place to do business. Last year in New Jersey, we opened 98,000 new businesses. That's a historic record in New Jersey, where people thought we were done. That should tell you everything you need to know about the direction this state is going in. Is it a fight every day? Sure. Am I really happy I'm here and not in Trenton today? Sure. But my job is you. I am where I should be today. So if we can continue to work together, and, and Frank mentioned the Partnership for Action, where we get, we need to market New Jersey outside of New Jersey, to choose New Jersey, we need to bring higher education in so we can keep manufacturing in the place it belongs, which is in New Jersey, and normally higher ed and, and large businesses want that connection. Um, we need the Bank of New Jersey, the Economic Development Authority, to continue working hard for growth in Jersey. If you know what the growth in Jersey tax incentive program is, you all think, well, it's tax credits going to go to some big company, and it's not going to, it's going to go to a Panasonic or a Prudential, which I love, don't get me wrong. But you should know that the Grove New Jersey tax credit program that was folded in in a bipartisan way just three years ago, 44% of the applications for Grove New Jersey were manufacturing. So people are beginning to come alive again. People are beginning to believe that New Jersey, because of where it's located, because of its great relationship with higher education and K-12 education, by the way, and also because we are business friendly. You can pick up the phone and call the Lieutenant Governor of New Jersey and yell at her if you want, that we really are open for business. We need to keep it that way. That's my small little pitch. Oh, you guys need some coffee. <laughs> And the reason is this, let me tell you, why is this so personal to me? Look back into your own lives. In 1973, which will give you some idea of how old I am, I, I, uh, I was 13 years old and I lived in Flint, Michigan. And in 1973 in Flint, Michigan, they closed the Ford manufacturing plant. Now, my dad didn't work in the plant, but it resulted in two out of three people living in, New in Flint, Michigan, being out of a job. My dad relied on those people for his living. In 1973, at age 13, my dad was fired. He was so embarrassed that he was fired, he didn't tell me. Or the other members of the five members of my family. I found out from a guy next door six months after he had been fired. That's how devastating it is to you as a business owner if you can't run your business. That's how devastating it is to families in New Jersey if manufacturing doesn't stay here and grow here. I want to tell you, in case you wondered why I didn't mind taking this job, the one the governor offered to me seven years ago, quite frankly, it's personal. This is a fight we're going to have every day, a fight we're going to engage in together, and it is a fight that we have to win. It's not what we want to win. It's we have to win. And the way we do that is by you being our ambassadors about how New Jersey is a good place to grow a, raise a family, but most importantly, to grow a company. They go together. So I'm going to end the same way I always end. It would be un un unoriginal of me if I didn't give you my cell phone number. I'm trying to, you're not getting 100 bucks a pop. It's 609-575-8111. 609-575-8111. Don't write it down if you fix everything in New Jersey. Don't write it down if you can get through the easy pass. Although I'm not sure I can get through the easy pass. 
Don't write it down if you don't have any problems with the FBC. Don't write it down if the DEP is never bothering you. you know, but if all of these things are important to you, or if you think you have a problem with the state of New Jersey, write it down. And then use it. You can text me, you can call me, you pay for that telephone, you have the right to use that telephone. I have 16 more months of this job. You have 16 more months to have access to the person in New Jersey who can literally walk down the hall and yell at any cabinet member in the state. Or move paper from one desk to another. Now I know you guys are all saying, oh, she's very unapproachable and I'm afraid to call her on the telephone. I'm never going to do that because she's never going to answer her own phone. Well, how many people in this room have called? Don't try and come with me. There's a couple people in this room who have called. I've answered the phone. I believe that's the way government should be run. And if you don't try, then you're leaving something on the table. So please do me a favor. Let me know what problems you're having. Let me know what companies you would like to see in New Jersey. I'll call them up, I'm shameless. And, and don't hesitate. I gave that phone number out to 6,000 volunteer firemen two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't think I got some pretty funny cell phone calls after about 10 o'clock at night, you are so mistaken. <laughs> but I figured every one of them's a volunteer. Everybody works in a business. I had an act, ability to find out what was going on in their world by giving them the cell phone number of the lieutenant governor who lives down the hall, take a left and a right from the governor of the state of New Jersey. And by the way, some of those phone calls were great. You know, 57 years old, somebody called up and said, will you marry me? Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> really good. But I tell you that so you're not afraid to use it. Send me a text if you're having a problem. Give the text number, or give the phone number out to anybody who doesn't want to complain about the guest list. Um, and let's work together to continue doing some good work here for the last 16 months I have. And, and, and at the very end, Frank, I love the award. I, I will pay it forward. I owe you for that. And, um, and John, too, the, the NJ MEP, thank you for all of that. Congratulations to all my other honorees. And I apologize for talking so long. Thank you very much.